On my other video that explains how to connect your power system on your multicopter, I've had a question about how you connect Optio speed controllers and BECs to the boards. So rather than try and explain it in words, I thought I'd make a very quick little video to explain how it's done. The power for the boards, whether it's something like a KK 2.0 or a Multiwi, actually comes from the um, receiver or from the BEC that's integrated into the electronic speed controller that run the motors. So, if you haven't watched my other video about how you connect power systems in multicopters, have a look at that first if what I've just said doesn't make sense. But if you have, and you're looking at this, the way that the mach machine is actually powered is normally from the speed controller. So you plug the battery into one side and then this little flying lead which um, takes the control signal from the board and it's the same on both uh, down the little white wire also supplies the board itself with power using the black and red wires. And if the circuit that supplies that power, which is called a battery eliminator circuit, is linear in these things, then you just plug them all in. If they're switched, then you just plug one of the leads in, and in all of the other leads, you pick up the pin and withdraw the red cable, because that way the signal is still able to reach the speed controller to run the motor, but uh, the power isn't being taken just from one of the controllers. However, with an Optio speed controller, there's no battery eliminator circuit. So although it has the three wires, it doesn't supply any power to the board itself. So what do you do in that situation? Well, in that situation, you need to use something called a battery eliminator. Now this is, has UBEC written on it, or Universal Battery Eliminator Circuit. There's lots of different names for them, but they all do the same thing. And this thing has th um, three wires on it, really. You have the positive and negative on one side. That goes into your power system on your model, typically the battery connection. And on the other end, it has the connector that goes into the equipment. So the question is, where do you plug this bit in then, in all of these different bits and pieces? The answer is pretty much anywhere, to be fair. You can connect it to a spare channel in your receiver, and then the other cables that you use to connect your receiver to your board will then actually transfer the power or you can plug the BEC directly into one of the spare motor channels that isn't being used. So for example, on this KK 2.0, well it's actually, um, it's a Multiwee 2.5 board, these are all the connectors at the bottom. And you can see that it's marked negative, positive and signal. And those positive and negative lines are all connected together. So it doesn't matter where I plug this in, so long as I observe polarity, I can plug in any one of the connections that are free and it will supply power to the board, basically replacing the BEC that's no longer available in the Optio speed controller. So just to recap on that, if we do that in a diagram, so here's the diagram from the previous video. And again, if this looks complicated to you, don't worry, just look at my other video. I'll put the uh, clickable link at the bottom of the screen here so you can get to it. Um, here's the BEC. And one end of it, you connect into the power. And you do that anywhere on the power system where there is the battery voltage. So it could either be on the Dean's connector or the XT60 or whatever you're using to connect the battery to the model, or it could be um, jumping off one of the connectors on the power distribution board. And then the other side is easiest to just plug it into the, the receiver, the, to power the receiver, or to the multi wee board or the KK2 board on a spare motor channel that you're not using. So hopefully that makes sense. Any questions or comments, please post, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.